gymnastics at a summer clinic run by the University of Oklahoma. So I was teaching gymnastics, and then they really done well. I said, oh, good little son of a bitch, good son of a bitch, good son of a bitch. And the kids were looking at me, what the they were with this guy? <laughs> I had trouble, actually, the first workout. We were vaulting, and he goes, okay, Mary Lou, he goes, do handstand, handstand. And, I, and it was my turn, I looked behind, and I asked Diane, I said, what did he say? What did he say? Boof, boof, come on, boof, boof. Boof, 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 boof. Hoppa! He just gives a lot of different sound effects. Just a regular normal person would come in and think he was crazy. But it's something that you have to learn to live with. Bella says he'd been told when he came to the U.S. that American kids are spoiled and undisciplined and wouldn't work hard enough. It was a matter of concern until he realized, after his first few weeks of teaching here, that he couldn't find those faults in his students. And to this point, their success in competition has proved him right. Honolulu, November 1986. At a gymnastics competition between the U.S. and China, the ceremonial aspects had special significance for Bella and his athletes. Instead of having to turn his gymnasts over to another coach to represent the U.S., Bella, for the first time, will be an accredited coach for his new country and permitted to remain on the floor. Christy Phillips and Phoebe Mills, those two competitors in Bella's gym, are here on his team, along with four other members. They are now competing together, not only with a strong team from China, but with U.S. athletes and U.S. coaches from gyms in other cities. The highlights you'll see feature Christy, Phoebe, and the Chinese gymnast you're watching in the red outfit, Chen Ching. performances and bobbles on both sides kept the team scores neck and neck to the end but that suspense is apparent without color commentary when you watch through the eyes of u.s coach bella caroli yeah. control phoebe You went just too hard for it. Easy. Picking easy. You went too, too fast on the beginning with 200 miles an hour. Easy. Smooth. All right. No. All right. But oh, the mistake is mistake. Yeah, I want to see how kind of competitive you are now. Or guts you have. Because you have guts. If you want it, okay? As much you can. Just nice and smooth. You can do it. I know it. Easy. Easy. Right. The final event, the floor exercises, would also decide the team championship. Chen Ching's performance was spectacular. Championship on the line, again with Bella seeming to synchronize himself into it, 
Phoebe Mills proved herself a star. Dance that, Phoebe. Dance that now. All right. Good. Good old girl. Control. Yahoo! <laughs> we got it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Smooth, nice high. Smooth. Wow, that's what you need. <laughs> Phoebe got a 9.85 in the floor exercise, and the overall results could hardly have been better for Bella Caroli. Oh, did it. All right. That was a good one, Lily Good. His team led the U.S. to a win, and athletes from his gym won first and second in the individual honors, though not as the experts might have predicted. This time, Phoebe Mills was the gold medalist. Christy Phillips placed second. Old friends were there to congratulate the team and Bella, who, despite his first win from the floor with a U.S. team, still will not be eligible to coach in the 88 Olympics. He will miss within a few weeks of qualifying as a citizen. But through his athletes, Bella Caroli will somehow be in the midst of that competition. By choice, I'm here. And uh, I knew that if work, work very hard, sometimes, some days, I'm going to make it again. And that's happened all my life. I love competitions. I love to go out and to compete. And uh, when I'm going out, I'm not concerning about anything else than to be the winner, to win. And I love to win. <laughs> that's the truth. What a lovable character. He makes competing that tough seem like absolutely the right thing to do. The kids are so young, though, Bob. Eight, nine years old. Well, it's true. The kids are essentially still training at the same young age that they've always trained at. Bella started to put them into competition at a younger age because he feels that they're less distracted and they're fearless. Mm. What happens to the ones who don't win? So few can become Well, it's true medalists. that the odds are yeah. very long, but in a way, the fact that it'll all be over by the time they're in the early 20s uh, works for them because they do still realize that they have to plan ahead for education and career goals. And oh, the one that wins. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. It was wonderful to watch.